What's going on guys? Welcome back. Leo Pazzo Productions. Thank you very much for tuning in. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a very special announcement in regards to the OC Ghoststream Deck Video Switcher. They just released a new firmware update 1.0.5, which is now going to support NDI HX, which basically means that now we're going to have a bunch of different NDI sources that we're going to be able to input to the Ghoststream Deck. So what I've done, I've actually configured my PC to screen capture over NDI to the GoStream Deck video switcher and I'm also using a PTZ camera that's actually supporting NDI which I'm actually sending that over to the GoStream Deck via NDI as well. So in today's video I wanted to share with you guys a bunch of cool information that we actually have available to us starting on November 17th all the way up to November 27th. OC is actually having 10% off currently right now the GoStream Deck and not only that they're actually offering an NDI license key to go along with the GoStream Deck for free. So if you currently already own the OC GoStream Deck video switcher and you want to get the NDI licensing key, what you need to do is actually just go ahead to the OC website because currently right now they are offering 50% off the NDI licensing key and it is only $35 USD. The regular price is $69 USD. So once you've purchased the NDI licensing key from the OC website, you're going to need to go ahead and provide them with some information and that information that you need to provide them is the serial number of your GoStream deck so therefore they're going to need to basically program that file so it's specific to your device your GoStream deck and therefore what they're going to do is send you an NDI licensing key file that you're going to go ahead and drag and drop onto the SD card and therefore once you are ready to update to the latest firmware the 1.0.5 you're going to have both or all should I say all three of those files so you're going to have two Two files for the firmware update and the one file for the NDI licensing key. So install, drag and drop all three of those files onto the SD card and with the OC GoStream Deck uh, video switcher, with it powered off, insert the SD card and now that the SD card is inserted, just go ahead and power on the GoStream Deck and it's going to automatically update the firmware and also activate that licensing key. So now what you want to do to confirm a successful firmware update, you want to go within the menu settings and take a look at the firmware version and confirm that it actually says underneath the firmware version 1.0.5. So next what you're going to want to do now that you've confirmed that the successful firmware update, you're going to want to go again into the menu, into the settings section and you want to scroll down to source selection and underneath auxiliary source selection we're going to have a few options for an example webcam, we're going to also have SD card and now with the firmware update we're going to have the option for NDI. So go ahead and select NDI underneath the auxiliary source selection option and now you're pretty much just about ready to go. So now that the firmware is installed and you've activated NDI underneath the auxiliary source, what you're going to want to do now is set up your NDI sources. So for an example, one of my NDI sources is a screen capture that I'm sending via NDI to the GoStream Deck. So what I'm actually using is NDI Tools a software on my PC and underneath Screen Capture HX, I'm basically sending that NDI signal from my PC, whatever I'm showing on my PC, over here to the GoStream Deck. So for you to go ahead and select that NDI screen capture source from your PC on the GoStream Deck, what you need to simply do is just press and hold the play button on the GoStream Deck for a few seconds until an NDI source list is going to pop up and it's basically going to be displayed there. In my case it shows desktop and it also shows my GPU name and specs. So just press and hold the play button and it's going to have the option over there of your NDI sources. So for my example number two, I'm actually using a PTZ camera which supports NDI and what I've done is I just connected the network cable to the back of the PTZ camera. Again I have the network cable, Ethernet cable that's connected to the back of the GoStream deck so they are on the same network and therefore now when I go ahead and press and hold that play button I'm going to have now a second option as an NDI source underneath the NDI source list. So overall that is how it is working. I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys that information. Again we got the sale 
sale of the Ghost Stream deck, which is 10% off. We're also going to get a free licensing key included if you're purchasing it anytime now from November 17th to November 27th. So now that you guys are a little bit more familiar with the firmware update and the NDI feature and how I have it kind of connected to my setup, I just want to go ahead and briefly show you guys my setup that I'm currently using of the Ghost Stream deck to actually record this video. I'm recording this video right now to the SD card of the Ghost Stream deck at 1080p 60 frames per second. So currently right now you guys have been watching me on my HDMI input number one to my Ghost Stream deck. Let's go ahead and make that switch to HDMI input number two to my Ghost Stream deck. And this is currently my top down view which is being filmed with my Panasonic GH6 1080p 60 frames per second. This is a nice view in my opinion for you guys so you guys can see my overall setup over here. I got my Ghost Stream deck with all my cables, HDMI ins, two HDMI outs. I got my network cable, my power cable. I got my headphone jack. I got my microphone line input as well. Why don't I just go ahead and do a little uh, picture in picture for you guys so you guys can see me while I'm talking to you guys as well. Looking over here, I do have two external monitors. This top one over here is actually HDMI output number two, which is showing me my multi-view screen. This smaller monitor over here to the bottom left is my program monitor, which is my HDMI output number one, which is showing me the final program on what I'm actually sending to my viewers during either my live stream or my recording. So just to give you another kind of view over here I'm going to go ahead and switch to HDMI input number three HDMI input number three I just recently set up this camera specifically for you guys for this video so you guys can see the behind the scenes setup of my overall setup over here there's my one uh, HDMI one that's my camera my Z cam E2 M4 I have my PTZ camera which is right over here which is sending the signal over via NDI which we're going to have a look at shortly I have this Osbot tail Air. This is a PTZ camera which also features NDI. I do not have a licensing key at the moment for this Osbot Tail Air PTZ camera, but I do purchase, but I do plan to purchase an NDI licensing key for the Osbot Tail Air as well into the near future. Um, as well, you're going to be able to see my external monitor over here. This is an external monitor that I'm also using, which is a 24-inch external monitor, and it's showing me my multi-view. So why don't I go back to HDMI number two? So if you just look at this multi-view monitor over here you'll notice that this top cable HDMI cable is actually HDMI input okay this is HDMI input to this monitor and that's how I'm viewing this multi-screen but if you look at over here this is HDMI output from this monitor I'm taking advantage of the output from the monitor and I'm sending it over there I'm sending it over here to this external monitor. So not only do I have a small compact setup, I also made my setup a little bit bigger by having this display screen over here. Why don't we go ahead and switch back to number three. Again, this is HDMI input number three. This is actually another Zcam E2M4. So I'm using two Zcams. This is Zcam E2M4 HDMI one. This is Zcam H E2M4 um, HDMI number three. So finally, well, let's not finally, but let's have a look at my last uh, HDMI input number four. And this is actually right over here, a view of my Osbot Tail Air. And I pre-programmed, let me just give you guys another shot over here. I pre-programmed three different shots within the Osbot Tail Air PTZ camera. And this is shot number one, which is showing you a wider view of my setup over here. You can see all my devices and you can see my multi-view screen here. And I pre-programmed for it to zoom in specifically on this multi-view screen so you guys can kind of have a better look at it over here. And finally, my shot number three, which is doing a nice close up of myself over here with this uh, PTZ camera. Okay, so let's just go back over here and uh, let's go to shot number two because I kind of wanted to have a closer look so you guys are a little bit more familiar because the last thing that we're going to be looking at over here is my NDI sources underneath auxiliary. So right now, if you notice in this small screen, why don't I just press auxiliary over here so it comes up nice and big. So this screen over here onto the top right, you can see that it's labeled as my preview. That preview is actually one of my NDI sources, which is my screen capture from my PC. This is just a pre-recorded video that is playing on loop on my PC on full screen and I'm sending that wirelessly via NDI to uh, the Ghost Stream Deck video switcher. So that is one of my inputs that I'm sending over here underneath the auxiliary. 
and you can see again I'm just showing here the back of the GoStream deck so I think this is a nice feature that I can just kind of toggle between my auxiliary NDI sources and therefore just kind of talk about whatever I'm screen capturing via my PC. So let's go ahead and press and hold the play button as I was talking to you about earlier on the GoStream deck and what that's going to do is pop up this menu over here that you guys see and you can see it says NDI list and I have two sources as I was talking about earlier. Right now it's currently set to desktop which is on the same network that I'm showing NDI screen capture wirelessly uh, via the NDI feature from my PC to this GoStream deck video switcher. Now I'm just going to use this rotary dial over here on the GoStream deck and I'm going to toggle between the two of them over here I'm gonna go over to NDI camera so I'm just gonna go ahead and select the NDI camera and now bang now we're actually viewing myself via this PTZ NDI camera and what an awesome feature is that we're actually why don't I go ahead and make that switch for you guys now we're actually going to use this remote control that's going to allow me to for an example zoom out it's going to allow me to tilt up and down as well. It's going to allow me to pan left and right for an example. And it does have uh, auto focus and auto exposure and we have white balance and shutter speed. And this PTZ camera is also um, being used right now at 1080p 60 frames per second. So I think this is a fantastic option that I can basically use NDI source from this PTZ camera to the GoStream deck. So it just allows me to have more input. So not only do I have the four uh, HDMI inputs now I'm actually using two NDI sources so these are just two examples that I wanted to share with you guys today in this video so overall guys I've been very impressed with the GoStream deck um, like I mentioned everything on this video is being recorded to the OC GoStream deck video switcher via the SD card I'm at 1080p 60 frames per second and the quality is set to medium so if you guys do have any comments questions let me know down in the comment section down below I'm going to be leaving some links down in the description down below. It's going to be basically one link for an example to go to OC website directly to purchase NDI or the GoStream Deck video switcher. And I'm also going to leave a link to a playlist on all the OC GoStream Deck videos that I've created because I've made a few videos, in-depth review videos and tutorials on how to use the GoStream Deck and overall my setup, etc. So I'm still learning the GoStream Deck. It's very powerful. I've been really enjoying it. It definitely helps my live streaming workflow. If I did not mention already in this video, this GoStream deck will allow us to live stream to three different social media platforms at the same time. Hopefully you guys learned something along the way and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.